yeah, yeah, to my samurais and my samurettes. It's a sure bet that your health is your wealth. Hi, I'm Dr. Isaac Alexis from the Slim Samurai Media Group 84, helping you to slash your sickness and offering you a slice of health and wellness. Today's topic, diabetes. Can this plant cure me? Diabetes. Can this plant cure me? Before I continue my Samurai's and Samurai, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Don't forget to like, a comment, so I know what to talk on for future topics. Send this to 25 of your friends. I want to say thank you so much to my new subscribers as well as my established subscribers to this channel. That means a lot to me. And I want to help you to live long and strong, healthy lives. Without any further delay, let's begin. Now, as it relates to diabetes, according to the CDC, the Centers of Disease Control, some 34 to 35 million people, or 10% of the entire U.S. population, has diabetes. According to the American Diabetic Association, nearly 1.6 million people have type 1 diabetes, including around 187,000 children and adolescents. Of the 34 million people that have diabetes presently. Around 7.3 million of those are undiagnosed. So get this, that staggering amount. There are some 7 million people having diabetes, not even knowing that they have diabetes. I mean, that's incredible and something that we must eradicate and address aggressively. Diabetes nearly affects 171 million people globally, according to the American Diabetic Association, and is expected to rise to some 366 million people globally by the year 2030. Now, in senior citizens, persons 65 and above, there are some 14 million people with diabetes, both diagnosed and undiagnosed. There are 1.5 million new cases of diabetes diagnosed every year. And diabetes is the seventh leading cause of death in the United States. In the year 2017, you had about 270,000 to 300,000 people dying from diabetes, diabetic complications, and with a whopping cost of $327 billion back in 2017, 2018 for the overall cost, treatment, sick days that's lost to diabetes. Now, we know that there are arsenal of medications out there to treat diabetes. You have classically, you start off with oral agents, for instance, your sulfonylureas, metformin, your alpha-glucosidase inhibitors, your thiazolinediodiones. Of course, uh, there's insulin if those are not working. And so we know pretty much this arsenal of medications. There's uh, various uh, GLP-1, SLT inhibitors, like Ozempic, for instance. And so we know of these medications that are out there that are actually pretty effective. But I want to introduce to you plant-based therapy as well so that my Samurais and Samurettes, you have the full picture of health and wellness because pills don't work for everybody. Some people are scared of needles. Other people can't swallow the pill, it gets stuck in the throat, and for others, they are interested in holistic, alternative, medicinal plants that 
are just as effective. And we'll look at one plant today. Now, this is one plant, like I said, that no one else is talking about in terms of diabetes and having nearly 35 million people or 10% of the United States population being affected by this disease, it's very important to discuss all of the alternatives and let's get all the options on the table to look at so that it is truly a fair discussion. Now, this fruit, when you first look at it, it looks like a cucumber, but here's the catch. It looked like a cucumber that has undergone a very intense and intriguing, to say the least, transformation. It has these, what could be best described as spikes, not as sharp as a porcupine, but nevertheless, it has these spikes on the surface of it. It sort of looks like the spikes on some rock star's shoulder pads just before he's going to get on stage. And when I first saw them, these spikes on this plant, fruit, it was quite terrifying. Now, this plant, drum roll, is called Momortica charantia. In layman's terms, it's known as bitter melon, bitter gourd, or corella. That's right. The name of it is Corella. It's dancing right here at the top of my screen. Hi, Corella. Bye, Corella. Throughout this talk, I'm going to refer to this bitter melon, bitter gourd as the Corella. Now, I've tasted this Corella some 10 years ago. I was in New York City. I went to a Caribbean vegetable and fruit market. And I saw it. I said, that's an interesting looking plant and I knew that people consumed it so I did my research and I found that it was great in diabetic control and so I want to introduce it to you my Slim Samurai family now I've tasted it and just a word of caution it is bitter in fact, it is so bitter, it makes lemons and apple cider vinegar taste like sweet cherries in comparison. But it gets the job done. Now, nevertheless, Kerala has been used amongst the indigenous populations in Asia, South America, India, and the Caribbean for many centuries, many, many centuries. Now, there have been randomized clinical trials that have shown that extracts from Kerala, from the Corella, especially its fruit, its seeds, and leaves contain compounds that have hypoglycemic effects in humans. The major compounds 
that have been isolated from the Corella or bitter melon are substances called Charantin, C-H-A-R-A-N-T-I-N, polypeptide P, and Vicine, V-I-C-I-N-E. Polypeptide P, which is known as P-insulin, is used to control diabetes naturally. Now, I will talk about this critical polypeptide and its amazing properties in my next video. Now, some clinical studies have shown the Corella bitter gourd fruit at 2,000 milligrams a day showed significance in reducing serum glucose levels. So, my samurais and samurettes, that's something to consider. And I've used the Corella. Word of caution is bitter, but it will get the job done. My blood sugar has been always good. And it's based on the diet that I consume, which includes the Corella. So that's just something if you have diabetes, hyperglycemia, borderline diabetes, this is one fruit that you want to include in your diet. I'll talk about other constituents that give the bitter melon or the bitter gourd its hypoglycemic properties that can help control the spikes in your blood glucose levels. I want you, my Samurai Samurai, to live healthy and long and strong. Don't forget to click subscribe, comment, like, send to 25 of your friends. I'm Dr. Isaac Alexis from the Slim Samurai Media Group 84, helping you to slash through sickness and offering you a slice of health and wellness. God bless.